So you can spread H. pylori through saliva, I believe. So like kissing. I was like, I don't want to take it. And she told me, she's like, you should take them because um, it can cause cancer. And Just a little of your time. Let it be. So today I'm going to be talking about H. pylori and yeah, let's get into it. When did I start getting symptoms? So I started getting symptoms last January, so January of 2018. If you guys have a lot of questions down below, I will do a Q&A. So what were my symptoms? My main symptom that I really noticed was bloating and it was bloating to the point that it was really really severe so I would drink like a sip of water or like a couple sips of water and I would just immediately feel so full and also I would be eating just a little bit and then I would just feel so full so it was just severe bloating bloating to the point where like just like a small sip of water um, made me feel that way and so I told that to the doctor and the doctor's like that's not normal of course and also I just felt extremely full all the time I am super super full I just want to kill my mom for making me come because I have stomach problems and my stomach is just it's like this big right now and it's it just feels like I can't even walk because I'm so bloated and I'm just like so pissed off. I'm I was also constipated and I don't know if that was because of IBS which I um, am diagnosed with now but it was only like recent months or so where I got diagnosed with IBS um, even though I've had like symptoms for very long um, with IBS but um, I don't know if really it is IBS, like, I have my suspicions that it could be something else also. Um, anyway, back to the H. pylori, so I was constipated and I'm not sure if that was H. pylori or IBS, um, but I wasn't diagnosed with IBS at the time. Um, so it could have very well been H. pylori or it could have been IBS or maybe it could have been both and um, I don't know if it's like H. pylori can cause IBS or like antibiotics can also cause um, IBS or something like that. I hope you guys understood what I was saying. The last symptom was I had stomach pain and I guess that's due to like constipation but my stomach would hurt really bad and it felt like I had lumps in my stomach of like poop or something like that and it would really hurt also the stomach pain was just sharp and it felt like there was something hard in my stomach how did I get tested I did the breath test and there are different tests that you can do um, to test H. pylori like the stool test for me I did the breath test at the doctor's office at my primary care and basically it was two bags so it was a pink bag and a blue bag and basically first what you have to do is you have to drink this liquid and it tastes like lemonade. I believe you can get it hot or cold. I got it hot and I drank it, had to drink the whole thing, they gave me a straw and then afterwards um, I would blow into the bag. Um, the pink one and the blue one and pretty much just blow it up until it's like a balloon and then they seal it and then they'll just send it off to the lab and I believe I probably got it done like sometime in January or like around February-ish but it's probably January like the end of January or something and so the test was like super easy um, nothing to really stress about if you do like the breath test so when did I find out that I had H. pylori? I found out in February. I don't remember the date, but it's probably on the test results. And I'm just going to insert my test result just in case you guys want to see it.
So how did I get H. pylori? You can get H. pylori many different ways. It is contagious and so my doctor did recommend me um, to not like share food and things like that. Like you can spread H. pylori kissing. So you can spread H. pylori through saliva I believe. So like kissing, things like that. You can end up getting like H. pylori sharing food. And I believe I probably got it through um, like family and also like the doctor said oh you take so many antibiotics and that can cause H. pylori but H. pylori can be caused by other medications like pain medications um, antibiotics also and um, let me talk about the antibiotics first um, I have been on antibiotics for a long time um, before I got the H. pylori I was taking a lot of antibiotics just for my urinary symptoms and that's complicated and that's for another video um, but if you want to know a little bit more about my urinary problems you can check out the honeycomb video which I'm going to insert up here and down below in the description and so um, antibiotics could have been a cause for the um, H. pylori like killing off the bacteria and stuff like that which I am not going to go into because I'm not like a medical expert or um, although I do like to do my own research online um, I'm not a medical expert and then also another theory that I have is just family so I'm Chinese and part of the Chinese culture we have a lot of side dishes and then we have rice and um, we eat the rice all in our own bowl and then we like grab the side dishes um, and everyone like grabs the side dishes and it's all shared and stuff like that so um, you can very well spread H. pylori that way um, and my doctor told me oh don't share food and everything but um, I tried to do that like the first couple days and then it got super hard and it was just like it's whatever um, because my mom was just like yeah it's really hard and I agreed it was super hard to do that and um, I think it was probably like around spring and or summer where my parents ended up getting diagnosed with H. pylori um, so like a little bit after me um, so I could have very well gotten it from them and it's it's all like just theories and stuff like that so it's not like it's oh this is how you got it we don't know but there's a bunch of like c conclusions that you can jump to how did I treat my H. pylori? Um, the doctor prescribed me 14 days of antibiotic she recommended me to take probiotics because um, antibiotics can kill off a lot of the good bacteria and probiotics can really help with that plain passing so probiotics can also help with decreasing symptoms and making you feel a little bit better um, without the symptoms there and um, you guys should stay tuned for another video where I'm going to be talking more about treatment for H. pylori, how I ended up treating my H. pylori, um, because I know you guys are probably interested in that. So when did I start my treatment? This is pretty funny because I found out that I had H. pylori back in February, but I didn't start my treatment until probably like late spring or something like that. Well because I was like wow 14 days of antibiotics I am so sick of taking antibiotics um, they can give you side effects like diarrhea constipation um, stomach issues and so much more and so I was like I don't want to take it the doctor did give me like medication but I kind of just left it there in my room um, and I probably went to see the doctor like a little later on for some different reasons and um, she found out that I wasn't taking the medication and she told me she's like you should take them because um, 
it can cause cancer and H. pylori can um, cause like ulcers, it can cause stomach cancer so she really advised me to take it or else I can like suffer from worse consequences so I did end up taking the antibiotics um, like around spring and I found out that I had H. pylori back in February around the winter season and um, didn't start treating it until very late. When did I get retested? Um, so one to two months after I finished the antibiotics, I went back to get retested. Good news, I was free of H. pylori. So will H. pylori ever come back? Um, my doctor told me no and she said that she had it also and it's been 10 years and it hasn't come back so hopefully it doesn't come back. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel. Um, also, leave your questions down below if you have any. Um, if this comment section gets enough questions, I will be doing a Q&A on H. pylori, um, my experience, um, and so much more. So that's pretty much it, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah.